Hello, natural ladies. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how I take my hair from looking dry and thirsty to these beautiful plaits in my hair. Now, the first thing I did, as you all know, if you have been following me for a while, is that I on my on my wash days I always start with pre-pooing my hair and today I'll be pre-pooing my hair using the good natural aloe plant. So the first thing I did I washed my aloe plant and then I cut it in two taking off the sharp edges then I place the gel inside my bowl. Now this is what it looks like when I put the gel in the bowl. Now I'm going to add some aloe vera to this gel and then I'm going to add all these, these two ingredients to my blender and I blended the mixture. Then I went ahead and I strained my aloe and I applied it to my button. Now this is what my hair looks like. It's been weeks <laughs> since I gave it any attention at all. It's dry. I just had it in some big plaits for a long, long time. I had no time to really care for it, but that's gonna end today because today I'm going to put back some moisture in my hair and then put it in a protective style. So what I did, I took my bottle that I, of my aloe and my olive oil that I just blended and I applied it to the sections. I sectioned my hair and I applied it to the sections of my hair. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to first, first use my hand to massage that in my hair. And then I'm going to take my detangling comb and I'm going to start detangling from the ends to the root of my hair. So now this is what it looks like when I did the first one and I went ahead and I did the other sections of my hair. So after finishing everything, this is what it looks like. And I took my plastic cap and I put it over my hair. All right, so, to watch, so for today's wash day, I'm going to use the Mayel leave-in conditioner. So this is what I'm gonna apply afterwards after I do the wash and then I'm going to do the shampoo and the conditioner. So I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay. Okay, so I did go ahead and I did my shampooing and my conditioner and this is what it looks like if you notice in my hair there are some flakes from the aloe plant it's because when I was straining it some actually got in the mixture so you have to ensure that you strain it thoroughly before you apply it to your hair or else you're gonna have a little flakes but it's fine after combing my hair coming out my hair they all went away in a way so this is what it looks like you realize that the dry hair that I had before it's not anymore my hair is looking alive it is looking healthy it is looking strong so I did went ahead and I blew my hair I don't usually blow dry my hair but because if you see the ends of my hair you see that they need a uh, good trimming they need to be trimmed and i like when i'm trimming my hair to ensure that it is um straight enough it, there's no water or anything there so i did went ahead and blow it now i'm going to trim the ends of my hair and trimming your hair natural ladies is very very important personally i don't like to do it because i just don't like to see my hair um I don't like to see my hair falling out <laughs> but if you do not trim your hair then you're going to have split ends and when you have those split ends boy that ain't funny so I'm just taking off just a little um, each section and I'm gonna show you how much I actually took off when I finished trimming everything so I started with the front see all that ends I, I got rid of those I got rid of those if you don't get rid of them you're gonna be sorry because now you're going to have split ends so this is the amount of hair that I took out um, that I trimmed off that's the amount and you know what it is fine even my gray hair I trimmed out a piece of my gray hair I have one gray hair that I'm so proud of <laughs> 
so this is what I have working with now I'm going to do the styling and today's protective style I'm just going to put my hair in some mini plaits initially I wanted to put some beads on the ends but I did not have the time to do it eventually I will because I think I'm going to keep that style in for a, a little while and the good thing about these plaits is that you can style your hair afterwards in any way that you want you could catch it up in one you could curl the ends using rods so I have plans for it even after it gets um, a little bit stale so this is the first one this is the size i'm gonna do them eventually i actually did the ones at the top a little bit smaller because you know as you proceed to the top of your hair it gets a little bit thicker so i did those a little bit smaller and that's what it looks like at the end of it all now i chose to do the plaits because I just trimmed the ends of my hair and if I twist it maybe it would have unraveled so I chose to do mini plaits now if this is your first time being here I want you to hit that subscribe button I want you to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video now this is what it looks like when I reached the top of my the second row I really started off making them you know a little bit bigger because I initially I wanted them put to put some beads at the end of it and I think it would have looked really nice with the beads now let me know in the comment section have you ever tried doing your hair like this I know there I I tried to show you two different ways in which you could plait your hair you have one that goes inside and the other that goes on the outside the one that goes on the outside it doesn't let the plait lay flat like the ones that I'm doing now however it um, it makes it a little how do I say it um, curvy <laughs> curvy is not the right word but I'm going to show you insert a clip showing you the different um, how how the diff two different plaits really look like but I'm doing the one that is inside so the plait lays flat okay guys so this is what I'm saying when you're plaiting this one this type of plaiting it goes under so the the root of it looks a little bit um, up I don't know if I'm saying it right and then this one you plait over so the so the plait stays flat now that's the one that I went ahead and I actually did now this is what it looks like when I have just a small amount um, left to do it doesn't look bad at all I think the beads would have looked really nice so this is what it looks like when I was coming down to the end of it all and this is what it looks like at the end now this hairstyle as I said you could style it however you want you could add some beads you could wrap it you could um, plait them and let them stay for a while and get that crunchy look you could use your rods to um, rod it and give it this curly look you could put it like this well little thing so that it doesn't go in your face there are so many things you could do with this you could conro it you could that's the wrap that I was telling you you could wrap it like that put some pins in it and it will stay up nice and looking good but I will just wear mine down for a little while and then when it's get, it gets a little stale I'll do it until we meet bye